Hey everyone, Circuit 6 is starting with that. and uh, see what we can kind of decipher from and get some general opinions. Now when we start off, you notice we're following around this Notions, young woman. Uh, she happens to be Elizabeth, who's a uh, about 20 years old, and she was imprisoned in Colombia uh, since she was five. So she kind of has this childish personality uh, because she's been underdeveloped because she has been imprisoned. So it kind of gives the game, you know, that little quirky feel. Um, however, she is very powerful. Uh, she has the ability to um, manipulate tears in time, which is one of the main focuses of the game, which you'll see uh, pretty soon. Now, what you don't see here is that uh, Booker had to rescue her originally. Uh, she's held captive by what they call the songbird, which you'll see later on in the video. That's gold, like I'm the king of England. Now you can tell a lot of the mechanics in the game are very similar to the original Bioshocks. Walking around the different spaces, you can kind of scavenge for different items. You'll see him pick up a pistol here. And, uh, you know, one thing I did notice that was a little bit different is coming up, he'll search a container, and it gives him three options. Uh, I think it only gives you a certain amount of time. You have to choose relatively quickly on which item it is you want to pick up. So if he looks in his barrel, there we go. we got three different items. So he picks one and he moves on. Uh, cash is still a big thing here too as well. So I'm sure there's going to be some kind of store or bartering system that you're going to use just like the old nice. ones. However, I don't think you're going to have tonics like you did in the, uh, the original game. Now here we can hear a lot of noise. This is the songbird coming and looking for Elizabeth. You can see she's scared hiding behind the table. Just take a look here. See this massive, massive creature. It's got a funny little laugh to it. Sounds like it's on a big old mechanical respirator as well. And it's gone. Now here's where Elizabeth does something um, rather interesting. She, uh, she, she's scared of this thing because it's what kept her in captivity for so long. Stop him. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. So basically, she's saying to kill her before she can be taken back. Now here's our first view out into the city of Columbia. And you'll notice something right off the bat when we go out. There'll be a cable car and it's kind of flickering. Now the cable car, everybody in the city can see. This is what they call a tear. Now Elizabeth has the ability to manipulate and kind of bring that into the present. Now, there's a couple of groups that are uh, kind of determined to get Elizabeth because they uh, they want her powers. Uh, there's the founders, there's the Vox Populi. You know, Elizabeth has these supernatural abilities that she can use, like uh, water manipulation, telekinesis. But like I said, the most important is tears. So if you watch this scene here, you can see how manipulating a tear can have a big impact on the environment and things around you. Horses die. He's in pain. Not for long. Step back. Wait, 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 there's a tear. See, right here. Elizabeth, it's just an animal. I can control it this time. It is too powerful. You won't be able to stop it. I wasn't asking for permission. So as you can see, she can manipulate these tears, but she can't really what control them very well. Okay. Revenge of the Jedi. Close it! Close it! Trying! Close it now! What was that? 
What? So these what tears that she manipulates really Talk helps you Elizabeth. out in the game. You so a lot of objects you see, you can select which ones you want her to manipulate and control for you. This makes the game a bit more dynamic and gives you a lot of options as far as uh, what you're going to do in the uh, the combat. Let's go find Comstock. Now you can see that Elizabeth and Booker are on their way to see Comstock. And this guy here who chucks his Molotov cocktail is uh, most likely a member of the Vox Populi who is pretty much at war with Comstock. Now, uh, Comstock, he is um, pretty much the main member of the Founders, which is a group of people who basically created this floating city. So Booker and Elizabeth have to find their way through the city to get to him. He supposedly is the only one that can help Elizabeth control her tears. So you can see the town is pretty much in ruin. Uh, everybody's running for their lives. The Vox Populi is kind of cleansing the city. Listen, friend, we're not looking for any trouble. <laughs> yeah. right. Now coming up here, you'll see that Booker gets a choice from Elizabeth on which path he wants to take. Um, if the game is completely scripted like this, where you have to choose certain paths, it'll be a different turn from you know how the original Bioshocks were. Something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. <sighs> Might be more supplies this way, or straight to Comstock House. What do you think? So there you go, you chose your path and uh, you pretty much got to stick with it. I don't know if you can turn around and decide to go to the other way or not. So another big thing to look at now, get a little bit away from the storyline, is that there's a lot of rails uh, throughout the city. And you as the main character, Book Booker, learn how to you know ride these rails. You have this contraption that attaches to your arm and allows you to jump from rail to rail, take rides around the city. Um, the only thing I haven't really seen is any kind of indication on which rails you're supposed to take. If you watch later on as he's riding these things, there's no real indication on which way to go. So there may be a lot of trial and error uh, riding these rails when you're actually playing the game. So here the Vox Populi is trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to get you. He tried to save this postman. Got one guy calling for help. And uh, we can get a look at some of the other weapons. So here he's got a pistol, and now it looks like he's got uh, looks like a shotgun. Yeah. So here we go. Here you can see the terror in time. Uh, Elizabeth will give him a selection on which one she wants him to control. So we got this cart. we got a barrel, a door. He's saying use the cart. And see, she brings it into present time. And... Basically, it puts up cover for him so he's not getting hit. So here we go. Here's the ride on the skyline. He just jump off and takes care of business. Now, as far as your life goes, I'm not sure if the meter at the top is your life or if it's some kind of energy that you have that you can use for, like, telekinesis or other abilities. But he does get hit an awful lot in this video, and he never seems to die. There we go. Elizabeth brought that cable cart <laughs> into sight and made it run over those three box popular. So there we go. There's another weapon. I think it's a uh, kind of like a rocket launcher. And uh, this is a repeater, I believe. They call it a revolving repeater or something along those lines. So pretty much everybody's trying to capture Elizabeth here. They're trying to get her for her abilities. Well, mainly the Vox Populi. 
And there we go, the sign for help was called, and this uh, pretty much ensues one of these big rail battles here. So again, looking at the game, I can't really tell if it's scripted or, uh, you know, if you have more of your free roaming abilities. We'll say the graphics do look great. It's uh, a very big environment to navigate through. And uh, it looks pretty full of action if you can look at all the high speed scenes that we have uh, seen so far. It's only going to get more intense from this point on. So you see him jumping from rail to rail. But you never really see a true indication of are you supposed to jump it out of the rail or is this something you have to figure out through trial and error? Basically like riding a roller coaster through the whole city. So here he gets uh, stuck down a little bit and uh, if you notice early in the game he picked up this bottle which you would think would be like a tonic that you see from the original Bioshock but it's, it's not really. I don't know if it's a one time use item or not but you'll see here once he gets pinned down he releases uh, or actually I don't know if he releases he more like summons these crows or these birds to kind of swarm his enemy and I think that gives him some time to either you know attack them or just to get away so there you go there's a swarm of birds and he's out so he's trying to get up on this blimp uh, most likely to take it down uh, it was summoned and it's trying to attack him so that they can get to Elizabeth So how do you know, as my question is, which way you're supposed to go in this game? Because if you're trying to get on that blimp, you try and take the shortest route possible, what it looks like. But uh, as you can tell, that's not really possible from this demo. So there we go, he's back on his way up to this blimp. Now it did look like there was a targeting system. I don't know if you saw that small circle that was on the wing. Uh, I think that was a target of where he was going to jump when he released himself from the rail. So as far as the mechanics of the game goes, it looks pretty good. Uh, you do have a good selection of weapons. No tonics, however, so your abilities, I think, are no longer permanent. Um, there's still going to be some sort of bartering system where you can buy and sell uh, things with money. And uh, I think your main purpose here is to kind of defeat the songbird and uh, keep Elizabeth alive. I don't think I can do it again. Is it really Comstock House? What if he won't help me? I can be persuasive. You will get your freedom, and I get paid. Win-win. Booker. So, again, I think there probably will be multiple endings to this, much like in Bioshock 2, depending on how you treat Elizabeth or perhaps the songbird that you see here. Either way, uh, they did an incredible job of bringing this game to E3, showing off what it's going to be about captured a lot of attention and you know I, it's one of these titles that I think is going to be one of the most anticipated ones of the year of course it's still probably at least six months away from release but it's one title I don't think many people will go without so a simple sorry will stop the songbird so that's it Elizabeth is gone, and uh, I think you got to go rescue her, find a way to defeat this songbird. Please. So let us know what you think, and as always, if you uh, like this video, please rate, comment, or subscribe. And if you didn't like it, you, know, you can let us know, and we'll try and do things better for you.